This is brilliant right here from Sabilia's High School and we are going to have a show about democracy and we are going to nail it. Right now we are at Gugas Tebe, Gwalanga, which is um, a township in Cape Town, but it's one of the closer ones and there's an art center here, so we've been like very lucky to be hosted by the space. So for the last couple of months, um, myself and a bunch of other people, kind of under the guidance of Chisimani um, and Alex Sutherland, we've been in process creating different kinds of work. Um, I specifically have been working with a group of mostly migrant youth, um, uh, reflecting on like the situation of being a migrant in South Africa, especially in light of like all the violence that continues to happen. Um, but other works have been with high school students, other works have been with Sisi Go House, and there have been different facilitators or so-called group leaders or directors um, who have been working in the process. With, 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 with. As you can see behind me, the police are here, the locals are here too, trying to loot whatever they can. It's already spreading like fire, they are taking everything. No to xenophobia. No to xenophobia. No to xenophobia. No. I mean, you go away towards understanding that stakes are different in every project that you do. And in this case, it was that um, though these people aren't like professional performers, they're beautiful performers, they're not professional performers, and we don't have to, the stake isn't the professional performance, but the stake is something else. The stake is the message, and whether they relate to it and are able to then carry that meaning across. To see how heartless somebody is, you came and burned this place, it's not enough for you. Show me the love. Where is the brotherly love in there? There is no brotherly love in there. We are all one Africans. Not xenophobia. Not xenophobia. And in community theatre, right, we are not working with so-called professionals or whatever and people who are trained in this way where when I'm directing, I'm directing. Um, one has to be slightly more careful and pull back sometimes, maybe sooner than you might otherwise have to pull back. How did they deal with that? I think they were okay, but I outlined it from the beginning that like it might get very hectic, but it's because I care a lot. And if you guys care as much as me, then I think we'll be, we'll be cool. And they did. Mishik! Mishik! Shh! Interview quickly, you guys mustn't leave us. Okay, my name is Siri. I'm sitting Kize. I'm from Samsung School, and we did the play of I Was Here. It felt really good to have an input in what we were doing so that we were just not going with a script that we didn't know, and at least we know um, the things that we said mean something to us, like the poems that were said is how we felt like other people felt during the time of forceful removal. I was there. The harsh words said yes. at my family and I. My little sister screaming for my mother. The tall white man throwing out oh my mama's special vase. The thrashing sound of the furniture as it hits the ground. I mean personally, our act was about forced removals where people were forced back then, people were forced out of their homes because a certain race had to move in that area and a certain race had to move to another area. So us having to think back then and how they felt, it made us um, realize that um, we shouldn't take what we have for granted and that, yeah, we should be grateful. It was a beautiful sunset. People were returning from work, the kids from school, chit chatter and laughter. When suddenly there was a screeching of tires, a breaking of glass, our homes were being demolished. Democracy! Democracy! If I hear democracy one more time, I'm going to scream! Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of this and that, and the list goes on. And on, oh, let's not forget a right to housing. Is human rights not supposed to collaborate with democracy? We're not erasing the past or the history. We're just learning from it. 
we're just learning from it and to not repeat it. Yes. I want to um, encourage the youth to interact in more things like this yeah. and to for us to educate one another. It doesn't always have to be in a play, it doesn't always have to be at school, it can be in various different things. But I think it's better and it's easier to learn something or to get educated with something by watching it. So I think it's very important for us, the youth especially, to interact and stuff like this and know about our history before about learning before learning about other history. We, it's important for us to know our roots and our history and we should just I'm not saying let go of the history or the past, but learn from it and grow as